Have you ever wondered how Tower are tested? Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to this new video of Tower Testing Station. What is Tower Testing Station? A tower testing station is a special plant for testing various designs of towers for transmission lines. A tower testing station comprised of A tower test bed Remote control loading mechanism Control room with measuring device Calibration of measuring instruments Tower crane for vertical erection a tower test bed includes a test bed and pulling mast. India is the country with more test facilities in the world. The types of tower test bed in India and rest of the world varies from different size to loading capacities. Typically a highest capacity of tower test bed is as follows. Base width 35 meter by 35 meter. Maximum uplift capacity 1250 tons. Maximum overturning movement 70,000 tons per meter. Cross arm spread 70 meter. To enable a horizontal loading on the tower to be tested, auxiliary structures are necessary. Transverse and longitudinal mast helps to provide horizontal load. The height of the mast varies from different test bed to others. Typically the height of the transverse mast is 90 meter. For longitudinal mast, the height is also 90 meter. Remote control loading mechanism includes electrically operated winches, controlled by SCADA software and load measuring device. Maximum load of 125 tons can be exerted through each load cells at 52 points on the tower simultaneously in transverse, longitudinal, and vertical direction. Control room is equipped with SCADA software for auto controlling of load application and winches. Viewers gallery for display design load versus applied load. Calibration of the measuring instrument plays a vital role in precise data collection during tower testing. It should be noted that all the load cells required for the test needs to be calibrated prior to the tower test. The calibration is done against an externally calibrated UTM. Calibration should be done up to maximum anticipated load to be applied during testing. In-house tower cranes are used for erecting the tower section by section. The transmission line industry is one of the unique industries that actually test prototypes of their structures. These tests provide a higher level of structural reliability for transmission line structural systems. At first the 3D modeling of the tower is designed, then the material for the particular prototype structure is procured for fabrication. If a proof test is ordered, it should be done on a full-size prototype structure or another tower of similar design, before it is fabricated in quantity. Ground assembly of the prototype is done on testing bed, and later on section by section is erected by in-house tower crane. Loads are applied at different points by using steel wire rope, and sheep pulley, on tower structure through pulling mast by remote controlled electric winches operated from control room. Instruments used for recording the loads are mechanical spring gauges, electrical or electronic control transducers. Deflection readings are taken using theodolites and scale. When a premature failure occurs, corrective measures are taken and all failed members are replaced. The load case which caused the failure is repeated until the tower is able to support the ultimate design load. Deflections are recorded in the both transverse and longitudinal direction, by means of theodolite and graduated scale. Generally the deflection are measured at following points. Center line of tower top, elevation of the middle cross arm level, and one intermediate level on the tower center line. Transmission lines are subjected to various types of loads during their lifetime. These loads are broadly classified into Climatic load Longitudinal and torsional load and Construction and maintenance load There are number of load conditions on which a tower is tested. The list are as depicted. In standard wind cases, 
a wind pressure of 430 newton per meter square at minus 1 degree Celsius is considered acting on the projected areas of tower member. In high wind cases, a wind pressure of 1064 newton per meter square at an everyday temperature is considered. For suspension, tension and anchor tower broken wire condition are as follows. Suspension. Any one phase or ground wire broken. Tension. Any two phase broken on same side or any one phase and ground wire broken on same side. Anchor tower. All phases and ground wire intact on one side and broken on other side. In high wind oblique cases, a wind pressure of 1064 newton per meter square at an angle of 45 degree is considered, acting on projected areas of tower member. Loading tree on tower at different load conditions.
Gustavo, Gustavo, Gustavo. 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 Gustav